Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace, mercy, and blessings of God be upon you. This is a new presentation from www.central-mosque.com and the Humble Heart YouTube channel. The topic that we're going to discuss today is Are French Fries Halal in the Top 10 American Restaurants? Now, this top 10 list differs from depends on which state you live in. However, I've made sure that the most commonly known fast food restaurants are in this list. Before we begin to dive into our topic, I just want to set the, the, the scope of what this video is all about. The research described in this video pertains to Americas, which means if you're in, in Canada, UK, Australia, New Zealand, Pakistan, Dubai, do not take this information. You can take how I derived this information or how I structured the presentation. So don't go into the comment section and say, I live in Canada, what about this? I live in London, what about this? This is very, very specific to the American market. Secondly, the scope of this presentation is about French fries. It isn't about fish fillet. It isn't about impossible burgers, etc. And I will tell you why it's very specific in a second. So once again, don't say, does this apply to fish burger? Does it apply to impossible burger? Does it apply to this and that? The only thing this applies to is French fries. I'll explain to you the reason why. Next, the reason of this video, and let me explain to you why I'm talking about French fries, because it's one of the simplest things you can buy in America. It's just a bunch of potatoes, potatoes, whatever. However, the amount of diligence need, that needs to go in it for you to consume halal is enormous. It isn't just about potatoes. It isn't just about the oil. It's about a lot of things. So what I would suggest from the beginning is follow Islamic organizations which follow the farm to fork methodology, i.e. they actually track you food items from the farm all the way to the fork until you're gobbling it up to know that it's halal. So I'll just give you two examples. There's HMS in America, there is HFSAA. So follow these websites because they do the work for you, support it in your communities, etc. if you do not want to do this research yourself. Next, always support your local community. So just because one of the top 10 restaurants, I will say, you know, the French fries are, are halal from a fiqh point of view, still you should support your local businesses, your local Muslims. So why? Because it's a simple matter is A, you know, show solidarity to your community. But even if you take talk about from a financial point of view, dollars and cents, every hundred dollars you spend in your community, 68 of that will, 68 dollars of that will stay within your community. So it is, absolutely best to support your local businesses to support your local community there's no argument around that one more thing that i forgot to mention in this slide is i am making this in may 2023 so things can change tomorrow uh, things can change next week this information to the best of my human ability is correct as of may 2023 one more point I've been dealing with these halal and haram questions through the website, through emails, etc., for a good part of 20 years. People don't understand when it comes to halal and haram a difference between OCD, you know, some some waswasa or some issue that you have in your mind, whether it is real or perceived, or actual cross contamination. So the actual cross contamination is an issue within the food industry which means basically you mix foods together uh in this example you're using a chopping board for meat the same one for fish the same you know for whatever fruits and vegetables etc so there is a genuine issue here that for example if someone is using this chopping board for bacon and then you slice a pineapple on it there is a, and you don't wash or sterilize or anything in between there's a chance that the food items may get cross contaminated a good example another example from the industry is here are two fryers so imagine if you if you are using this only this business uses this fryer for french fries perfect this they use for uh, you know, let's say they use it for some kind of other haram meat product, whatever it may be, you know, uh, beef or chicken. You can see that this oil is actually going in there together. So in this case, you have an actual issue of cross-contamination. In this case, these are two separate fryers. So here they are using, you know, some kind of potato. So this fryer is dedicated to that. Imagine you dip it in there. What they do with this fryer does not matter because these two do not mix. So there's no cross-contamination here. So keep that in mind. When it comes to cross-contamination, you need to look at the actual issues, not with 
what Sister Aisha said in the mosque or Brother Abdurrahman said here and there. No, you need to look at actual issues and what you need to investigate. And let's talk about fiqh a little bit. When it comes to non-meat items, then this is a very well-known usul or principle in fiqh that basically the original and everything is permissibility. So it's a non-meat item. The assumption here is that it is permissible. But when it comes to meat, the principle is the exact opposite. That the original in meat is prohibition and this needs to be proven to be permissible. So once again, to summarize, when it's a non-meat item, things are, prove, things are taken as default to be permissible unless and until proven to be impermissible versus when it comes to meat then the, the it is taken as a default to be haram and it needs to be proven halal so in this case we're talking about french fries which is potatoes so that's what we're going to do so for this simple presentation i've set up three things that you need to so again this is just showing people you know in your mind you need to structure your research properly and then follow it through so there are just simply three simple tests that i've set forth number one french fries and ingredients so if there's anything within the french fries any ingredients so people put seasoning or businesses i should say put something for seasoning it are all of the stuff that goes within the french fries itself is that halal islamically permissible number two the oil that you're using to fry the french fries and is that permissible so is that vegetable based very simple or is it animal based you know whether it's got lard in it or beef tallow beef shortening of any kind then that would make it haram and the third thing once again as i showed you in the picture is the fryer that you're using french fries in is it dedicated or is it separate if the fryer is shared which is a quite a common occurrence in the business then what is it shared with if it's shared with fish you know or another vegetable based item it doesn't affect the permissibility of it and it will still be halal versus if you look at the data you know somebody who's uh, you know who is on gluten-free diet or a vegan or vegetarian they would frown upon that to say look it's being shared with a fish islamically if it's being shared it needs to be shared with an item which is halal or the best is to have a dedicated separate fryer so these are the three tests when an item ticks you get green ticks in all three perfect let's move on let's now discuss i'm sorry to set set the scene now you can see what this research is all about so let's talk about wendy's so there's a restaurant change wendy's so you get three green ticks the uh, ingredients which goes into the french fries are permissible nothing wrong with it the oil it is being fried in is permissible nothing wrong with it and they use dedicated fryers wendy's get all green ticked thank you no problems in and out burger another chain you get all three green ticks so the ingredients are halal the shortening or oil which is being used is halal and it is being done in a separate fryer or the fryer is not being used to fry haram meat items or any other items which are haram five guys same thing you get green ticked ingredients are halal oil is halal and it is not being shared with an item which is haram in islam arby's same thing you get green three green ticks ingredients are halal the oil or shortening is halal and it is not being shared with a non halal item DQ, Dairy Queen, same thing, the French fries and Dairy Queen are halal, same three tests, ingredients are halal, oil is halal, and it's not being shared with a non-halal, halal, halam, non-halal meat item. Okay, now we get to KFC. So, KFC French fries are not permissible for Muslims to consume. Why? Because although the ingredients are halal, the oil or shortening that is being used to fry it in is permissible, but they share the fryers with with uh, with non-halal or haram meat items in kfc it happens to be chicken so you can't do that because there's cross contamination next we go to hardy's the ingredients are halal the shortening used is halal but once again the fryer in which you're frying the fries are being shared with non-halal items therefore the fries that come out at the other end are not permissible popeye's chicken now I want to make a point here that the Popeye chain in America, their corporate policies are different to the Popeye's chain in Canada. So once again, 
do not make assumptions into your locality whether you look in canada or uk or australia new zealand wherever this is specific to america so the ingredients and fries are halal but popeyes has a corporate policy where they use this beef fat shortening therefore the um it is not permissible muslims to use and as you can see i've not even gone down to third path to look at shared or dedicated fryers because number two makes it non-permissible burger king not permissible and this is a unique case and let me explain to you why the ingredients uh, in the fries are permissible the oil or the shortening they're using is permissible but burger king restaurants um, in america use a unique filtration system uh, it was originally patented by a company in germany and what happens is this this oil gets mixed up in the back end so basically whether you're frying a whopper or a chicken or something which is not permissible in islam versus fries this oil gets filtered and mixed in together therefore co co you know causing these french fries not to be halal in burger king lastly we go to mcdonald's and mcdonald's is a crazy place to get information and i will tell you why the ingredients and in the seasoning itself is not permissible and they and there's no information i could find about being shared or dedicated fryers from what i could tell they use shared fryers now what's the issue with mcdonald's McDonald's rep responded to me and says for f for flavor enhancements, McDonald's French fry suppliers use a small amount of beef flavor as natural flavoring during the par frying process at, uh, at the potato processing plant. In the restaurant, the French fries are cooked in canola-based cooking oil. So I then asked the question: What is your beef flavor based on? Is it animal-based or plant-based? And they replied, second email, the specific ingredients and natural flavors in McDonald's products are proprietary information and not available. So they're refusing to tell me whether this beef flavor that they use, is it natural or, uh, sorry, is it animal-based or plant-based? They refuse to answer that. Then I dug up on their website and it says, natural beef flavor contains hydrolyzed wheat and hydrolyzed milk as starting ingredients, which means you have no idea what else goes in there. Therefore, it is an unknown therefore the first stage fails because we have no idea so if you were to do this research that i've done for this lots of problems the vegan societies vegetables vegetarian societies etc uh, people on gluten-based diets have a problem with mcdonald's because they refuse to disclose their information any other some other chains you go to they are very clear uh, for example wendy's they're very clear what is goes into their fryer what oil is done what's their policy if they're sharing it what are they sharing it with etc mcdonald's is not therefore we cannot categorically declare mcdonald's fr french fries to be permissible so this was a small glimpse in the kind of research that you need to do of course let's get back to the slide that we talked about it is a lot easier for you to pledge to support your local businesses in your local communities and Follow most Islamic organizations, support them with your volunteer work, support them financially that are dedicated to actually going from uh, and certifying your whatever you're eating from farm to folk. One last thing. So a lot of Muslims asked this question. They said, you know, what if a person saying or the corporate policy is that you should be doing that, but somebody deliberately does something wrong or makes a mistake or whatever? Allah Ta'ala is not held you responsible for mistakes of others. What you can do is you need to you need to dig into the matter, do your research and move on. Again, another reason for you to trust organizations like HMS and HFSAA to be able to consume halal yourself and to your and for your families. Jazakallahu khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.